Your health and dementia. A report today from the World Health Organization predicts the number of adults with dementia will triple by 2050. By then, the number of people worldwide with dementia may reach 115 million. Right now, 35 million people worldwide uh, have the illness. Part of the expected spike is because people will be living longer in lower and middle income countries. Uh, but what is the difference between a simple moment of forgetfulness? We all have those, right? And signs of dementia. Well, eight on your side, medical reporter. Susan Shapiro is here with the answer. I'm joined by neuropsychologist John Benz from Lancaster General Health, and we want to talk about the difference between just simple forgetfulness and the signs of dementia. And Dr. Benz, you have said that forgetting something that you would not normally forget could be a sign of dementia. Sure. Can you expound mm -hmm. on that? We, we all forget things from time to time. We all might forget uh, to pay a bill or something along like those lines. And that's or where gonna, you left your keys or, or something like that. Where you left like your that. keys <laughs> or might even forget an acquaintance's name. But those are all kind of common memory lapses that we all experience at some point in our life when it becomes more frequent or when we point where we're repetitive telling you the same story maybe that I told you a minute ago or asking you the same question over and over again that might be a sign of a developing dementia and as you mentioned repeating yourself a lot uh, that could be a, a sign repeating the same story over and over again I mean we all probably know somebody who has a dementia with Alzheimer's and they'll come to you and they'll say so where are you living now and you tell them well, I'm living in Lancaster and two minutes later, where are you living now? You know, so those types of things over and over again. As the person on the receiving end of that, how should you deal with that? Best way to handle that is just to answer that question as directly as you can. You don't want to necessarily challenge or confront the individual or make them feel bad about their memory lapse, but I would just continue to answer that question. And then you can kind of change the subject move on to something move else. To something and what else. about the conversation, carrying on a conversation? If, that, if a person has difficulty with that, can that Again, be Again, we all have trouble coming up with a word that we want to use from time to time, but we'll eventually be able to come up with that word. Where it starts becoming a warning sign of maybe something more is, yes, when the individual is having difficulty following the conversation or adequately conveying their own thoughts. And just quickly, if you notice this with a family member or a friend, uh, what's your best... Uh, thing to do? The best thing to do if you're starting to be concerned over the possibility of a developing dementia is certainly contact that individual's primary care physician to do an evaluation or to determine whether that individual might be better evaluated through a specialty center like we have at Lancaster General. I imagine it's something family members often probably notice more so first off than a family physician. Absolutely, absolutely and in fact the statistics suggest that about 50% of individuals with a dementia go undiagnosed, being picked up on as part of the routine medical care. And as with anything, I guess early detection is certainly important. Absolutely. So, you know, a multidisciplinary memory program where you're being seen by perhaps a geriatric specialist, a neurologist, a neuropsychologist leads to earlier detection and diagnosis, earlier treatment, and really goes a long way in decreasing the morbidity, the deficits, the problems that families run into. All right, very good. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Benz, for joining us tonight. We My appreciate pleasure. it. And Susan, thank you. Lancaster General Health has an Alzheimer's and memory care program. You can call 544-3539 for more information on that. You know, it's a mystery. That's